Okay, so we need our alcohol burner for various chemistry experiments we've been doing. Um, but the last time we went to use it, it wasn't burning very well. Um, there's like some sort of buildup on the, I guess they call it like the burner torch. It'd be kind of like what you consider the wick area of the burner. See, it's not even lighting well. Um, so, our instructions didn't really have any way to clean this, so I had to contact the company and ask them what they suggest. My son's like, oh, let's use sandpaper. And I said, I don't think that's a very good idea. Um, so I contacted the company because the instructions weren't specific about how to clean it. And um, I basically asked them, I said, you know, um, is a magic eraser going to be okay? So they said, yeah, why don't you give that a try? And then they said for um, underneath you might want to use like a wire. Um, I'm going to try a pipe cleaner because I'm not quite sure. I haven't pulled this off to look. But we're going to see if the um, magic eraser cleans it up okay. So hopefully we can do what we need to do with this today. Probably should have looked into it sooner, but I didn't. So... We just said be careful not to bend the wire. It is taking something off. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get underneath there to get off when I need to get off. You can see this area, see it's still got that black area. But if I can get off the residue, I, mean, I don't care if it's still black or not. So you can see it's pulling off something. So I'm hoping it'll help it burn better than it did in the last experiment we used it in. So yeah, magic eraser. Clean it up to the best of your ability. I'm going to have to squeeze it in there. <laughs> I'm really torturing this poor magic eraser. See, it looks pretty shoddy at this point. But I'm going to take this off. See uh, what they're referring to underneath. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's getting some stuff off. I'm thinking. Instead of waiting till I've used this five times, that maybe it should just be clean like this after every use. That way you don't have the extreme buildup that we're getting at this point. It's one of those things just I'm lazy about, I guess. You know, the experiment's over and then put it aside until next time. And then you go to use it and then you worry about it. Not doing what you need it to do. So if you're more... um careful about it than I am. You won't even have this problem because you'll be taking care of it right from the start. So I'm going to pop this open and I don't know I guess they're talking about like here but I don't really know what they want me to clean with the wire. I don't know. See here. Kind of weird. I guess it should be okay though. I don't see where it would be any. There should be any issues here, so I'm not even gonna do anything. It looks like there's plenty of alcohol in here. Hmm. 
Okay, so it looks like it's sealed properly. Let's see if this lights the way it should. Oh yeah, look at that. You see it? Much better. Really awesome flame there now. I don't know if you can see it from the way we've got this, but you can kind of see it glowing. So yeah, that cleaned it up really nicely and it worked really well. So I'm just gonna blow it out for now so we can do our experiment. Hopefully that uh, helps you clean up your alcohol burner. Thanks for watching. Bye.